Hi there. My name is John Holden. I graduated from the University of Connecticut in 1992 with a bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture. In 1993, I started Land Designs Unlimited. I design, install, and maintain landscapes for homeowners in Upper Fairfield County, Connecticut. Today, I'd like to share my passion with you. How you doing today, folks? Today I'm standing in front of my house and right behind me is the spirea that I have in my opening clip where the butterfly flies in. And this is Spirea japonica little princess. And what I want to do today is to show you how to renewal prune your spirea. Usually after the spirea grows for three to five years, it'll get very tall and start to kind of overgrow its boundaries. So all you really need to do is go through and cut the entire plant back to three to six inches from the ground, preferably in the early spring, and you're going to get a new growth of, of, of your plant and you know have a nice healthy more compact shrub. Now there are really two different types of pruning for spirea. There's the renewal pruning which we're going to do now which would be every three to five years when the shrub gets overgrown and then usually in mid to late summer after the initial flush of bloom uh, what you can do is just take out your hedge clippers or your hedge trimmers and cut the entire plant back by a half to a third, probably a third give or take, and that's going to clean up the spent flowers and encourage a new flush of growth. Today it's April 10th and the best time to prune, to renewal prune your spireas is going to be early spring. The plant has all that energy saved up from last year, it's raring to start growing and get some new buds. So now is the time to get in there, cut it back, and it's going to really start growing. You could certainly do this in the middle of the winter as well, once the plant goes dormant. Now spirea is a very, it's a very tough plant, and usually if you do cut it back hard, like we're doing here, through the season it's going to come back. But for the best chance of your plant coming back, you really want to do this kind of pruning late winter to early spring. So what we're going to do is we're just going to reach into the shrub, trying not to poke our eyes out and just start cutting the entire plant back three to six inches from the ground. Doesn't really matter the size of the branch. Just keep working your way in there and cut it back. And it can take some effort to kind of make some room. Now, Spirea is what's known as a garbage can plant in the trade because it really seems to pick up a lot of garbage, whether it be leaves or other stuff. This one here has some, okay, this is a, something from the cable company. Now I have cut this plant before. If you've got a younger plant, you're not going to have near this many branches growing on it. But they're really, you know, this is one time where you don't have to be precise about where you prune because the spirea is going to have new growth anywhere along the stems. So I just think it looks better to have a mounded habit to it. So we're just going to keep working our way around and knocking the spirea down. And it's nice if you can get out and do this before the new growth starts. So that plant knows that as soon as it can, it's got to start getting some new growth coming. Okay, so there is our spirea. We've cut it back hard. Now because this was a larger shrub, I ended up cutting it a little bit higher. I cut it a little bit higher because there's just so much foliage. If you've got a younger shrub, you might end up you know, cutting a little bit lower to the ground. Okay folks, so it's a little while later. I had a chance to go through and cut back my spirea. I've got them all down to like a nice six inch mound. And now all that's left to do is go ahead and just wait for them to re-sprout. So here's all the garbage that we got from pruning those. I've got a little bit of work to do to clean that up. And then if you see the edge of the garden there, 
you see how I've got a nice neat edge and then you can see over here the spirea was actually growing over the lawn and it ended up it was so shady it killed some of the grass so what I'm going to do there is actually I'll, I'll edge the bed to be a little bit bigger because I clearly didn't leave enough room for the spirea to grow but I've got four spirea here so we'll start right here here's our first one there's the second one here is our third one and then here is our fourth one so we'll keep an eye on these and I'll, I'll put something up when they start coming back but uh, thanks a lot for watching today folks and if you have any questions please put them below and if you enjoyed the video please click the like button and um, and also if you're enjoying the video please click subscribe now as you look at the front of my house here this is hydrangea paniculata grandiflora which I've already cut back uh, this is called a PG hydrangea if you like the way this PG hydrangea is pruned or you want to learn how to prune a PG hydrangea uh, I'm gonna put a link to the video that I made there's a, a three-part series about how to prune them that also shows them coming back and I will go ahead and put a link uh, somewhere on this page, I'll probably cover cover the house over here with a link uh, and go check that out But uh, hey, thanks a lot for watching today folks and uh, have a great time pruning. Take care <laughs>